This lesson is on the development of the Taylor or Maclaurin polynomial centered at zero. This lesson will show you where the Taylor or Maclaurin polynomial comes from. It will not give you any examples because the examples are very definite as far as determining all the different derivatives. Okay, what is a polynomial? Well, a polynomial is something that reads, as you well know, a sub 0 plus a sub 1x plus a sub 2x squared plus a sub 3x cubed plus on and on and on plus a sub n x to the n, and if we want to go on infinitely, plus dot dot dot. And that is equal to the summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity of a sub n x to the nth power. In developing the Taylor polynomial, we will take successive derivatives of our polynomial. This is also equal to some function that we can say is f of x. So let's go on. f of x is equal to a sub 0 plus a sub 1x plus a sub 2x squared plus a sub 3x cubed, on and on and on until we get a sub n x to the n. If we substitute in a 0 for x, we get f of 0 is equal to a sub 0 because all the other terms will cancel out because they will be multiplied by 0. So keep this in mind. Let's go on. What about f prime? Well, f prime of x will be a sub 1 plus 2a sub 2x plus 3a sub 3x squared plus 4a sub 4x cubed all the way to the n until we get n times a sub n x to the n minus 1. If we substitute a 0 in, for x, again we get f prime of 0 is equal to a sub 1 because all the other terms will cancel out. Well, what happens if we take the second derivative? Well, the second derivative is 2a sub 2 plus 6a sub 3x all the way on. And if we substitute in a 0, all the terms cancel out except the first one, and we get 2a sub 2. Let's go on. Let's take the third derivative. So f triple prime of x is equal to 6a sub 3 plus 24a sub 4x plus 60a sub 5x squared plus on and on and on. When we substitute in a 0 for x, we get 6a sub 3. Well, on the fourth derivative, we will have 24a sub 4 plus 120a sub 5x plus on and on and on. And when we substitute in the 0, we'll get 24a sub 4. And I think you can begin to see the pattern. If I found the fifth derivative and evaluated at 0, we would get 120a sub 5. Again, keep all these numbers in mind, because this is what we're going to use next. As you notice, there was an a sub 0, an a sub 1, an a sub 2, an a sub 3, an a sub 4, and an a sub 5 in all of this. So this will be the numbers that we will put into a polynomial, our original polynomial. So let's go on. Well, what does a sub 0 equal? Well, we found out that a sub 0 was equal to f of 0. And a sub 1 was equal to f prime of 0. And a sub 2 now is going to be equal to f double prime of 0 over 2. And a sub 3 is equal to f triple prime of 0 over 6. And a sub 4 is equal to f to the fourth prime of 0 over 24. Well, let's go on and look at these. This is actually equal to f double prime of 0 over 2 factorial. That one, the triple prime, is f triple prime of 0 over 3 factorial. And f to the fourth prime of 0 over 4 factorial. So what is happening? Each one of these is developing to the prime of the subnumber, the nth number, over the factorial of that number. So what does our Taylor polynomial become? Well, our Taylor polynomial becomes f of x is equal to f of 0 plus f prime at 0 times x plus f double prime at 0 over 2 factorial times x squared plus f triple prime at 0 over 3 factorial x cubed plus on and on and on until you get f to the nth prime of 0 over n factorial x to the n. 
And this is why when you do Taylor polynomials, you do take successive derivatives of our function and then substitute in the zero and then put it two factorial times x squared for this particular term, just times x for this one, and of course the first one is the constant. This is the reasoning why you do Taylor or Maclaurin polynomials. And again, remember, Taylor is the general form of any series that can be developed into a polynomial in this way, and the Maclaurin one is a particular one centered around zero. This concludes the development of Taylor-Maclaurin polynomials.